Hi, this is John Lammers from Epic Table. I'm going to show you in this video how Epic Table's zones work when you have overlapping zones. Now these are the Fog of War zones that I'm talking about here. And what I'm showing you is a map that's already got Fog of War enabled, but no zones drawn as of yet. So let's draw in a couple of these. Now the obvious way to do this is you might draw a zone here for this room a zone for the hallway and a zone for the other hallway and that works and you can go through here and you can reveal these zones one at a time and um, oops there we go one at a time turn these on and off um, but sometimes you want overlapping zones um, for instance to simulate a uh, line of sight so let's say that we don't have doors here um, or that we've opened the doors. What we might want to do is extend these lines of sight, extend these zones to be lines of sight. So we can do that kind of thing. Now, the way overlapping zones work in Epic Table currently is that depending on where you click when you enable a zone, you're going to light up different things. Essentially, you're going to light up all the overlapping zones so that if I click here in the center of the room, I'm going to be able to see everything because it's going to illuminate this whole line of sight, this whole line of sight, and the room itself. Now, if instead I click, I'm staying up in this corner, I click here and reveal, I only see that. Or if I'm standing here, I see that. So I'm using these overlapping lines of sight to these overlapping zones to simulate lines of sight. And that's kind of cool. The downside of this, though, is that you can't today use overlapping zones to have um, really a zone within a zone because it's it's going to base everything off of of the the notion that it should light up all overlapping zones so for instance let's say that I um, let's get rid of one of these and let's say that I have like a little shrine or something in the middle of this room and I want to do something like this and I've wanted to do this other people have have suggested this um, where they might want to light up this middle zone without lighting up the zone around it you just can't do that today because of the the way overlapping zones are used for for line of sight um, you can come out here and and highlight the the outer zone but that's gonna light up the inner one as well or you can come in here and light the inner zone but that's gonna light both because they overlap um, the only thing that you can do which isn't super helpful is if the zone doesn't overlap then if you click in an area that is not overlapping you can light up just that zone and you could then drag it in here. Um, it's it's kind of a cheat. It doesn't work very well uh, to use it that way, but it it is a way that you can have a, a zone within a zone. Um, you just can't light and dim these independently as long as they're overlapping. Uh, so anyway, that is Epic Tables zones and the kind of advanced topic of overlapping zones and how those are handled. Um, love your feedback into how this might be improved in the future. Uh, it may be as simple as a, you know, something to let you select how overlapping zones should be treated. That's all for now. Thanks.